Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be another Candles by Victoria haul. Now, in this haul, I wanted to pick some of my favorite scents, since I'm always like, well, I love it, well, I love it, well, I love it. Well, order the scents you love, Drew, in bigger sizes, so you can use it all the time, and then order some scent shots in scents you wanted to try. So, that's what I did. I have about... 10 scent shots, some melts, and some candles. Now, as always, Victoria always sends a free scent shot with every order. They must have accidentally sent me two because I did get two scent shots in my order. And the first free scent shot was Captain Crunchberries. And I have this as well. Now, if you can see, these shots are literally filled right to the top. Now, do you see how high they are what you're gonna do is just press on the bottom and then boom it pops right out now it's a little bit softer wax she uses in the scent shots so it might crumble just a little bit but wax cures from the bottom up so always smell from the bottom and this smells just like an authentic Captain Crunch Berry those red delicious crunchy cereal a little bit fruity you can even smell like the dustiness on the bottom. And one thing with Victoria Scent Shots, they are strong. One thing I have never worried about from Victoria is getting a scent throw from anything. She triple scents everything, so amazing. I typically use half of a scent shot depending on the scent. Sometimes I'll do a whole one, but most of the time, generally I only use half. The other free scent shot I got was in Garden Mint. Let's pop this guy out here. Whoop! There we go. So I assume it's going to be like a... Oh yeah! It smells just like mint fresh from the garden. This is going to be great for the springtime when it's just starting to get a little bit warmer after summer where or after winter. And you're like, I just want something fresh to freshen up the air. Garden Mint. It's definitely not like peppermint or spearmint. It definitely smells like fresh mint leaves, which I can really appreciate. I like that, and it's not super overwhelming. Now let's get into the scent shots. The first one that I ordered was Ray's Hot Cocoa and Marshmallows, and Ray was a um, big fan of Victoria. She probably still is, but she wanted Victoria to make a hot cocoa scent. Now, this definitely has her Campfire Marshmallow. I can smell it. Her Campfire Marshmallow doesn't smell like Marshmallow Fireside. It doesn't smell like anything super toasty. To me, it smells more of like a gooey, rich marshmallow, which I love. Don't get me wrong. I love the scent of a rich, gooey marshmallow. Some people think her um, marshmallow and like vanilla scents come off a little perfumey. On cold, they do. Once you pop it in your warmer, it does come out to be a little bit more of that, like, authentic, rich, creamy marshmallow. The chocolate's not overpowering. It's not, like, hit you in the face chocolate, which is nice because with some chocolate scents, it's, like, way overwhelming. Buttercream Crunch. This is actually a Victoria's Man Matte Candle Man who packages everything. These are, like, super tight in here. Um, his all-time favorite scent, Buttercream Crunch. And this is a super sweet buttercream scent. Like, you just iced cupcakes with about half a pound of sugar in the icing. Totally. Like, really, really rich buttercream frosting. Which is not a bad thing. I love buttercream frosting. So, mm. wow, is that good. Yummy. I love that. That'll be a good mixer, too. Caramel apple, you can't go wrong with caramel apple. I did order like all fall type of scents. The ones that I've always wanted to try but never have. So caramel apple. Oh yeah, this is a very buttery caramel. It does not smell like Cider Lane. The more I smell Cider Lane, which is my favorite scent, the more it comes across as like a candy apple with a lot of caramel versus then caramel apple. This is authentic caramel though. Like, like you think of like a Werther's original caramel that you melted down and then dipped apples in. And it's more of a red apple and not a Granny Smith, so you don't get like tartness from it. It's definitely like a really 
rich, buttery caramel scent. Crackling Birch. This is one that is like a total different fall scent because it's super earthy. Oh yeah, I mean this smells like a white birch, like just even the color of the scent shot, like pure white, like oh my god. It like lights your nose up when you smell it. It's so fresh, crisp, almost like the wood version of peppermint. Like nose clearing, sinus clearing, wake you up in the morning, like fresh wood. It almost feels like there is a crisp coolness in the air that's captured in a scent shot. That I'll probably only use half because it'll blow me out of the house. Under the Harvest Moon. If I'm not mistaken, this is, I think, a blend of her Why I Autumn and Leaves. I could be wrong. I'm not 100%. Which, her Why I Autumn is like a very just autumnal scent. Oops. Again, pop the scent shot out. And like, set it on the lid so that way you don't get wax all over you. You can smell the leaves, like that really mulled apple cider scent. I'm not getting much from it right now. These are freshly poured. She freshly pours everything, so... I'm not getting too much of really anything but just like a really faint leaves scent. Maybe when I warm it, more things will come out. I mean, they always do. And after a couple weeks. I let all of Victoria's stuff cure for a month. You don't need to let it cure for a month. Two weeks, really, and you get a good throw. But I like a month because I melt a month for everything. Scarecrow Crossing. Now, from the description, this says like no pumpkin, no apple, just crisp fall scent. Uh, okay, so at first, this smells, and I guess the name is why, it smells like you walk to a pumpkin patch to like pick a pumpkin, and the hay, the fresh air, you have like a jean jacket on because it's still chilly, but you want to look cute, but you don't just want a lazy hoodie because you know you're going to get your photos taken. And you smell that freshness, freshness in the air, the hay, the leaves. There is, like, I don't want to say there's pumpkin or apple because there's not, but just like those autumnal scents in the air. Wow, this is nice. Wow, I never, I've never smelled this, but I was, always, I was always intrigued by the name Scarecrow Crossing. Yeah, wow, like a crisp fall day. That's, that's really interesting. I, I really like that. Then we have Autumn Brittle. I think this is like apple, honey, pumpkin. It's definitely like, I think honey is definitely in it. And boy, these are tight in here, you guys. Whoop. Oh, you definitely pick up on the honey. Wow, that is like honey forward. Like, you smell it here. It smells great. You flip it over at the bottom. Whoop. You get that honey, you get that rich, creamy, creamy honey. And then, what else is in here? It kind of smells like like violet, but it's not violet. It's almost reminds me if you've ever smelled her Edward Cullen scent. It kind of reminds me of that because it has just a wee bit of like the scent of sunshine and honey. It is definitely like a honey, but more like a raw organic honey is what I smell. It's very interesting. Not what I thought. Apple cider. I like that it's green, because typically when you think apple cider, you think, you know, red or brown. Pew. Got my strength to pop these out. Oh yeah, and this smells like a really, really good apple cider. But it's interesting, it actually smells like a cup of cold apple cider like you get from your local farm, versus like warm mulled cider. And I know that's crazy because like, well, it's just a scented piece of wax. How can you determine whether it smells cold or warm? But you can. It definitely smells like a cold glass of apple cider, which I honestly prefer. I, I don't really like anything warm, any warm drinks. So really like that. Salted caramel apple crumb cake. This is another scent that I was very intrigued by because Apple crumb cake sounds delicious, and added salted caramel, how can you go wrong? Ooh. You definitely pick up on that salty note. Now, Victoria's salty note, I'm going to be talking about later as well, is like almost addictive. It smells so good. 
Yeah, it's like that addictive salty, salty scent with the gooey caramel. And then you get this like applesauce cake. It says apple crumb cake. Yep. Almost like, like fresh apple and like a really dense yellow cake. Ooh, that's yummy. And I think once that cures, it is going to be knock you out of the house strong. Sweet potato pie. I love to melt a sweet potato scent um, on Thanksgiving, but I don't like to have a whole candle of it because I really only like it that one day a year. And this year, my work is off, which I'm super excited about, so I get to spend it at home. It's not super, super strong on sweet potato. Oh, it's nice. It's, it's definitely like a pie. You get like her granny's pie crust type of scent, like that really really buttery, flaky pie crust. And then you get like a, a creamy, sweet... A sweet potato, to me, smells very similar to pumpkin when you mix it with the spices. So to me, this just smells like a very creamy, pie crust forward pumpkin pie. It's good, though. I really like it. And then the last one, Cider Web. I thought this would be really fun for Halloween. And this is a blend of her sugar corn pudding and her apple cider. So a different idea because I think her sugar corn pudding, and I've talked about this before, smells like a really good sugar cookie. Oh, see? And then sometimes your wax, like, you'll get a little bit of a crumb. Just stick it in the cup. It just is extra goodness. It all melts anyway, right? And yeah, this is interesting. Apple, like, apple cider. It's like apple cider and sugar corn pudding. It's interesting, which, like, to me, smells like a really, really great baked sugar cookie. It's a really interesting combination. I would never think to mix those together. And I think once it cures, it's going to really develop more. That's one thing with Victoria Scents. When you let them cure, all the notes really come out in them. They're amazing. So, one item that is not... A wax-related item that Victoria has on her website is her whipped body butter souffles. I am such a sucker for Victoria's scents and would love them in perfume. But how great would it be to have it in body butter? Because when you put body butter all over, you smell that scent all over. But every order, I did not know which scent to order. I'm like, what scent would be great to wear on your body? And I'm such a bakery person, so I'm like... What, what could I get? And when I saw my hair looking so vibrant, and I'm like, when somebody hugs me, what do I want them to like remember me by? And I was like, blueberry cheesecake. So I got blueberry cheesecake body butter, and I've already been diving into it. But guys, this for one is 16 ounces. It is thick when you look at it. But when you touch it, I want to see if you can see this. It is so light and airy that it just melts right into your skin. Like the second you put it on, it melts right in. You are literally left super, super soft, super, super hydrated. And because it's Candles by Victoria, super, super scented. And this blueberry cheesecake, the first day I put this all on after the shower, didn't put any perfume or anything, just the blueberry cheesecake, went out the door. And whenever I was in the mall on my way to work, somebody's like, you smell so good. And I was like, it's blueberry cheesecake. And they're like, what? And then I went into the whole spiel on how I love Candles by Victoria and her scents and how you can get literally all her scents that are body safe oils. So not every single one of her thousand scents are available in body butter. You do have to look, but oh my God, it smells so good. And I mean, there is such good ingredients in here. It's hydrating, there's vitamin A, there's aloe vera leaf gel. It just feels so good and oh, I love it. So I'm now debating, thinking on, do I wanna get like, pumpkin oils are really hard to get body safe, but I'm like, I kinda wanna get a pumpkin body butter for fall. How great would that be? All right, 
Since the melts are on top, we will talk about the melts. I have two different forms of melts here. The first are her scoop some scents. Now, they do come really pretty with a um, piece of homespun and a little spoon, but I take that off because it just gets in the way. And this is essentially like her scoopable wax, but it's in a big 16 ounce bowl, and I got two of them, and this one is in chocolate strawberries because, oh my god, you guys heard chocolate strawberries. I love strawberry scents, and I'm a sucker for strawberry, and this smells like the most juicy strawberry and the most decadent chocolate dessert, like a chocolate-covered strawberry. When you go into Godiva, rest in peace, and they had those huge, huge chocolate strawberries, but there's just the right amount of chocolate and juicy strawberry exactly what this smells like. So now my entire apartment can smell like a Godiva and I can reminisce about when they used to have their stores. And if you didn't know, Godiva stores all went out of business after Easter this year. It was a tragedy. Super sad. Now this one, can you guess? It's pure white. You probably can. But this is a shout out to Deb. Actually, a lot of these scents are a shout out to Deb if you're watching Deb. I love you. And she inspired me for Vanilla Bean Noel. Because, as you see, I have candles burning. I have my warmers going. Today I actually have Strawberry Danish from Victoria. We'll talk about that scent in a little bit. I ordered it in a big candle. But anyway, I like to have melts going that are either the same scent as my candle or complementary. So, Vanilla Bean Noel, I mean, can go with everything. And hers is so strong. And see how it just pops out of the container. You can even like slice some out like if you wanted, but oh my god, it smells so good and the Bath and Body Works Vanilla B Noel is normally notoriously known for not being that strong. So Victoria's scents are always known to be strong. That's what she's famous for. So I love this and I know I'm gonna get a good use out of that all year long. Now, these guys, also shout out to Deb, because this is like one of her favorite forms to buy wax from now, are her cube melts. So they come in these, kind of looks like uh, takeout containers, and there are these perfectly little square cubes, and you get a ton of them. So you could pop two or three little cubes, maybe more, depending on how much scent you like, if you want to mix them in your warmers. So... I picked three scents that I know I always love and always want to have on hand. And the first one is peanut butter cookies. And these are available in two sizes. This is the large. There is small cube melts, but this is the most authentic peanut butter cookie. When I smell this, I'm instantly brought back to childhood when you made those cookies with the little fork prints in them and you sprinkled some fresh sugar. Oh, and I'm a sucker for peanut butter scents. So peanut butter cookies is such a comforting scent. This is a scent where I'm like, I don't know what I want to melt. You can never go wrong with a peanut butter scent. The next one I got was in pumpkin pralines, which is a mix of her, is it pumpkin souffle? It's one of her pumpkin scents or pumpkin picking and caramelized pralines, which I love her caramelized praline scent. Oh, and this is so good. And these are like these like tan colored, like pumpkin colored cubes. And they're pretty much all the same shape, but you can see like some have some little edges on them because everything that she makes is handmade. So I know that these are fresh. These are ready to go. And oh, this scent. And I'm like smelling it sideways because I don't want to dump them all out. But it is like the caramelized pralines etta. If you love caramelized pralines, which I saw your video, you do, you have to try pumpkin pralines. That scent is one of my favorite pumpkin scents. The pumpkin just makes the caramelized pralines so even more rich and ooey gooey. And then the last cube melts that I got are in Chantilly Lace. Now, totally different from anything else in this order, Chantilly Lace, this is for my bathroom. Chantilly Lace is this sweet floral. Reminds me, I like if I had a laundry detergent that smelled like this, I was tempted to get Chantilly Lace in body butter, but it is pretty feminine. I mean, no scent has gender really, but 
it is it is very perfumey so if you're not a fan of perfume scents I don't think you're gonna like this it's definitely sweet feminine but it's so pretty and I when I have company coming over this always goes in my bathroom and everybody who comes in and goes to the bathroom is like oh my god your bathroom smells so good I know it's candles by Victoria Chantilly lace all right now we have her 16 ounce sampler. These are uh, Victoria's 16 ounce jar candles. I have one already in blueberry cheesecake that I've been burning and I love this jar. It is single wicked, 16 ounces. And if you love a scent and you really just want a no frills, simple jar and 16 ounces of that scent you love, you cannot go wrong. So these are five cents that I love and one I have never tried because it's brand new to Victoria's site, which we'll save for last. The first one, Jelly Donut. So it's this really pretty pink wax. And if you notice me rubbing the top, I talked about it before, it just releases all of those delicious oils. And this is like a yeasty, amazing, what do they call raised donut scent with the best strawberry jam. And I'm gonna compare this to my next one, my favorite from Victoria. Oh, it's just so yummy and decadent. And it's addicting. Like, it's addicting the more you smell it because it smells like Dunkin' Donuts just pulled out a batch of jelly donuts. And I've melted this before. It is so, so, so strong. Then we have Strawberry Danish. So we're Strawberry Danish and Jelly Donut. Jelly Donut is that rich jam in a yeasty donut. This is that strawberry jam in a salty base. And I know people have said it before, you either love or hate Victoria's salty note. To me, it's like a lick the air fragrance when you burn it. I love this scent. And like, look how smooth. Her candles are like whenever you get a, a tub of margarine and you don't, or peanut butter or anything like that, and you just don't want to scoop out the top because it looks so perfect. Strawberry Danish is like my kryptonite from her. It's so good. I'm, I'm having it melting all day in my house now. I could never get enough of this scent. It's just rich, creamy, a little bit salty. It's so addicting. Another red candle, Macintosh Apple. I have been so into apple this year. I don't want to say more than pumpkin because I do love pumpkin, but I've been loving Macintosh this year. Or just apple in general and this is just a straight up mac apple no more no less simple mac apple this will be great to burn this while i melt like an apple bakery or like a pumpkin to get like an apple pumpkin scent in the air mm. and that's the thing with her candles you burn her candles and melt at the same time you get this scent surround that is just heaven but it is just like that crisp red apple next fluffer nutter I told you I'm a sucker for peanut butter, and this is her peanut butter cookies and her campfire marshmallow. And yes, it is. Again, you get that really sweet, ooey, gooey marshmallow, and you get that really decadent, addictive, I say addictive for all these scents because they're addictive, peanut butter cookie smell. Oh, I mean, and if you don't know what a fluffer nutter sandwich is, it's marshmallow fluff and peanut butter on bread. Yes, that's the thing and it's delicious. And marshmallow fluff is actually, I don't want to say it's healthy, but it's not bad for you. <laughs> bath time with poo. This is another one. It's going to live in my bathroom, this jar. If you're familiar with that scent from that soap company, honey, you know what it is. Go wash your damn kids. You like that? I think you could figure out what it was. It smells just like that. A rich, toffee, honey type of scent, but you do get that like soapy base that that company is known for having a smell of. Mm. With some cure time on this in my bathroom, like I said, it's going to live there. And then the last scent is brand new to Victoria's line, and it is Pumpkin Cinnamon Donuts. I did not read what the blend is on this, but I assume it's one of her pumpkin scents mixed with her new, well not new, but her incredible cinnamon donut scent. I'm just gonna rub the top. <sighs> okay, it smells like her pumpkin pick, her spice pumpkin chutney. That's what I think it smells like. 
which is a more spicy cinnamon forward pumpkin mixed with her cinnamon donuts. That's just me personally. That's how I feel like it smells. Oh, it's so good though. It's really good. It's really spicy, but not cinnamon stick spicy, but definitely more cinnamon than sugar in the donut. If you like like a bakery crafty pumpkin scent, but you want a little bit more baked. Oh, that's good. It's good. I don't think, I think if you don't like super spit cinnamon scents, you will not like this. I do, especially in the fall. And look how amazing the color is. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about her wax and her wicks. Some people say they soot. They don't perform. Listen, if you don't trim her wicks, they're going to soot. Please keep your wicks trimmed. Now, if you can see in this candle, there's a little bit of this metal. It's zinc. She uses zinc core wicks, which are FDA approved. They are known to be really great in candles because that little metal, the zinc middle of the wick, keeps that wick stable. You're not going to get a wick that falls over. Your wick is going to stay straight the entire burn. And when you trim this wick, like, they trim them before they go out, but they do sink and settle over time, so I am going to give this a little trim. Trim it to about a quarter of an inch, a quarter to an eighth of an inch, very, very short. And then you light that candle for no more than four hours. Blow it out, let it harden, maybe later that day or the next day. Give that wick a trim again and light it. This candle will burn super strong and clean all the way down. I promise you that. You just have to keep your wicks trimmed. Now say, well, Drew, it's starting to smoke and I want to still enjoy my candle. Great. Blow it out. Wait 30 seconds. Like, wait for the smoke to go. Trim it and relight it. And then you're going to still get that amazing fragrance. And you're not going to get that soot. You're not going to get the black soot. Her candles burn perfectly if you know how to take care of them. That's 100% honest. Feel free to message me on here, my Instagram, my Facebook, anything if you have questions about candles, any brand of candles and how they perform. I would love to help you. Every candle is made differently, but they do all have the same origin. So there's definitely tips and tricks. And say you burn this candle for an hour and you have to go to the doctor or you have to go to the grocery store or so something happens. It's okay. Her wax is soft enough that the next time you light it, just let it burn a little bit longer and it will eventually not create that tunneling effect. It will eventually create all the way down. I will make another candle care video, especially because I have a lot of new subscribers. I'm older now. I've talked about it. I definitely need to make another updated video for you guys. But it's super important to keep your wicks trimmed. That's the most important thing to have a clean, healthy, perfectly burning candle every time. So, with a lot of Candles by Victoria videos lately, let me know what you've tried. If you've tried Victoria, what do you love? What scents have you always wanted to try? Let's get that conversation going. I'll leave Victoria's Facebook group down below. And if you order in the notes section, definitely tell Victoria that I sent you here. Me and her love to talk about, you know, my new friends, my new subscribers that are trying her candles. And I want to know what you guys tried. Like my really good friend, you know, out there, uh, Pink Rose Cupcake. I know it's your favorite. And shout out to your mom, your little cabbage patch. She's super, super cute and adorable. And she loves Pink Rose Cupcake. And it makes me so happy that another new person has discovered Victoria and fell in love with her and the brand. So... Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that you get alerted every time I upload here. Subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!